So hello everyone, my name is Govan Pandey. I am from year 12, currently the second year of my DP. So what I know about mental health, it's, it's something quite important that uh, needs to be discussed. It's basically the state of well-being where an individual is able to realize her abilities can cope with the normal stresses of life and is able to be productive, you know, and like make like relevant contributions to her community. Just like overall be able to uh, perform day-to-day -day activities. Hello, my name is Omar. I'm from 11 B. Mental health is a important factor for us to maintain. Mental health is uh, social well-being and physical well-being and also your emotional well-being and it also affects your feelings and emotions. Mental health is a person's emotional, psychological and social well-being. Mental health is important to preserve because it allows us to think clearly. Yes. And it allows us to make good judgments. It's very important in school. Don't speak too late. Um, mental health is like uh, your mental well-being and it controls your emotions. Hey guys, I'm Rebecca from Tenvian. What I know about mental health is it's part of a human being and it's something everybody has. It's something that we think and feel and it's also how people cope with their problems. Yes, I am aware of it and it's on the Sunday, October of 10th. <laughs> yes, I'm aware we have World Mental Health Day, but I'm not aware when. I'm aware that we do have one, but I'm not sure about the date. Yeah. Oh yeah? Do you know when is it? 10th of October. Oh, nice. Okay. What I'm actually well aware. Like From what I know, for the past, we've had a lot of mental health days and mental health weeks when school was open. And for my knowledge, we have an upcoming mental health day. Yes, I am. And today is the mental health day. Today. Doodling. Nah. To be honest, I just keep in touch with my friends and that really helps out with my mental health. Um, after school, I hang out with my friends. I exercise regularly and I take breaks from schoolwork when I need to. Sleep. Like a DP student, I, co I deal with a lot of stress with my work. So to deal with my mental health, I space it out, my work. So I don't try to do it all at once. And I make sure I, I try not to procrastinate, but it's inevitable. In addition, I, I recently started doing exercises again. So it takes my mind off uh, things like stress and I can just focus on myself. It's actually good. My performance hasn't uh, been it's, it's been relatively good at school. Um, I, I'd say most of the time I'm happy, but sometimes it can get stressful, but it's, it's, it's normal. I eat well, I drink a lot, I take enough sleep. If I don't have enough sleep, like at night, I take naps after school. And then I do exercise like two, three times a week. And then I usually like almost every day I talk and then like face call my best friend and like talk about my day and like my goal for the day and then the last thing is i just love myself you know <laughs> school has supported us with sss we have made well-being forms that we fill out every week and they reach out to us if they feel like we are having some trouble Oh, what I know is that every week we get sent the weekly thermometer. Uh -huh. uh, Ibu Vicky sends us basically to check how we're doing mental, mentally wise. Uh -huh. It's a very sh short survey just to uh, get to know us and if we need help. In addition, in the smaller scopes, sometimes my teachers per se, uh, they like to consolidate with other classes and with the class to make sure that when they're planning exam, it doesn't uh, overlap with another class exam. Mm -hmm. So we aren't stressed with multiple tasks uh, at the same time. So in that case, yeah, it minimizes our stress and makes you feel better. The school has helped me when I was very unstable with my emotions when I was in primary. And the school counselor really helped me. It's less time in school, even though okay, lunch time is like after school, it's like nicer, you can relax more. And then you exercise going to classes like Turontanga. And people are very positive, the teacher and the staff. And then just being social in general with teman teman and like other people. And then usually like what um, 
helps me go through the day most is when teacher asks me how my day goes, like Ibu Becky and Pat Thomas, they're like, how's your day going? And like, oh. talking, you know? Um, the teachers are very supportive of your mental health and is always there for you. Okay. Uh, you can email your accounts for it. Yes, you go to building A, second floor, across A33. The, the counselors that are under the SSS, and they would reach out and ask for check-in meetings. For me, for me SSS is very accessible because I have a, uh, a, a, a counselor from the SSS. But outside that, I remember like before the pandemic, we would be able to just walk into the SSS room Mm -hmm. in case like we have like, anything to talk about but now due to like uh, restrictions we have to email first mm -hmm. uh, make sure they're free and we have to like follow procedures but it's quite accessible if you really need to talk to someone mm -hmm. go to at the sss room uh second floor a building i just like email like ibu reni or ibu joan for help if i need something ah.